So the way it works is you arrive at the depot, you check on your app which allocation that you've been handed for that day. Once you're inside the depot, that allocation correlates to a specific cage. So that cage is gonna be full of the packages that you're gonna to have to deliver that day. The cages can range on obviously sizes of the packages or just how busy that round is. From there, you wanna take the cage back to your car. So the way I've always done it, I say always done it like I've been doing it for years. The way I was taught three weeks ago was take all the packages out of the cage, put them all on the floor in alphabetical order, and arranging them by the alphabetical order of the street name. Once you've scanned in all the packages that you've taken out of the cage, the app will put them in a list order of what they think will be the best time suited routes for you to do that day. Once you've got them all laid out, you want to put the last deliveries of the day in first because obviously that's going to be the last ones that you take out. And once that's all done, you are ready to get going. It's now half 11 and I cannot see my rear window. So we're now on the way to the first drop off of about 110. So hopefully once I've dropped all this off, I'll feel a little less claustrophobic because right now I cannot breathe. That's 20, 18 and 16. Should be these two, yeah. Take care. So luckily in that street, there was three houses with about five packages. So it was quite handy. And that way the car is a little less full. I mean, it wasn't this big box, which feels like it's got bricks in it, but still. One is one. I do have a couple of collections as well that I need to do, but collections aren't too bad. Um, and money-wise, it works out. It's about 50p a collection, so it's not the end of the world. But let's get rid of another one here. Yeah. The one bad thing that I've found with regard to having this many deliveries is that when you're reversing, you can't see. So if you're not the best at reverse parking, I'd maybe get a job where you don't do this. Oh my God. So this brick. Where I deliver to, the areas are very bouncy. It's not even rural, it's just every time you go up a specific drive you feel like you're on the nemesis at Alton Towers, uh, which is fun when you're at Alton Towers, not when you're in a Ford Fiesta with fragile packages. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I won't go there, that's fine. Found it. That was easy. Now it just leaves where to park. Can I just steal your space for five seconds? Okay, when you're in parking spaces that do not belong to you, one thing to remember is be as fast as you can. Sometimes you do have to go off track and find your own way to the house. That's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm about 45 minutes in. That was my 20th parcel. So I've still got about 70 to go. But that's not the worst start in the world I've had. So let's get rid of these 70. The one complaint that I'd have with the whole courier system is the app that they get you to use is useless. I'm outside an address which I was at 20 minutes ago to deliver to their next door neighbour. But the sat-nav could not figure out that this address was next door because of how long the driveway was and thinks the house is on the other side when I was right next to the start of the driveway and it's little things like that. This has cost me about 10 minutes of time, maybe half a mile in fuel, which is nothing, but this happens about five or six times because the places where I deliver to 
have driveways like runways. The good news is you get your steps in. The bad news is you shouldn't have to get this many steps in. All right, 60 more. Let's go. I still can't see out my back window. Why am I even trying? Also, they've got really long driveways, but they're stupidly thin. So you have to do a 17 point turn every time. I sat here looking at this address thinking, why do I recognize the house? And then I realized that the first stop I went to, this is two doors down. And again, this is what I mean about the sat now. Because the app that they get you to use is useless. It's just a waste of time. I've dropped off the first package that I delivered to that house. I'm now dropping off the 34th to that house. It just doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I've just found the number 13 for this street as well. You could make it up. The nice thing about slowly getting through with them is I can start to see more of the outside world through my windows. I still can't see out the back. I'm on the way to another collection now. So hopefully it's just one little thing and it doesn't take up all the space in the world like the others did. But you never know. So I've come to do a collection now that I've got obviously space in my car. The space didn't last long. So this address is a perfect example of why long ones are the worst ones. You have to be within 50 meters of the address for the parcel to scan. At the start of this driveway, it said I was 164 meters away from the front of the house. And as much as I am tempted to reverse all the way down that drive, the chances of me getting right to the end and then the people who actually live here coming in the other side, it just wouldn't be worth the hassle. So, three point turn again. Once you're a delivery driver, you'll soon get used to three point turns more than actually driving in a forward straight line. Forward straight line? In about 45 minutes, I'll be at the end of this driveway so that I can continue. Hello, a package for Sydney. Yes, thank you very much. Take care, bye. Just checking in. Uh, time is 10 to 3. So I've been at this for about three hours now. Started with 92 parcels and I've now only got I think 13 left and that's it. And luckily in this street there's five. You'll notice that when you get down to like the final 20 your mood as a driver significantly increases and you just get a lot happier. For me whenever I get down to the final 30 I know that there's maybe an hour left and that's always a good thing. And the good news is I can see it on my back window now, which is fantastic as I own a car and I should be able to see out my back window. I've still got a lot of big ones left, so hopefully, I don't know what I'm delivering to this street, but fingers crossed, everyone here has ordered lots and lots of big packages. There you go. Regular event. I know. See you later. I have my front seat clear. Five packages left. Yeah, it's not been too bad. So I'll get these last five out of the way and then check on everything to make sure we're all up to date. So we've got one more is literally over there. Of course, the last one of the day will involve a three-point bloody turn. Just the next order. That's for me. Perfect. Have a nice day. Bye. And that is the day done. Uh, in total, I did 98 deliveries with five collections. I don't know why that's going off. It is two minutes to four o'clock, about 25 an hour. So it's not too bad considering when I first started three weeks ago, 
I did 40 deliveries in three hours and I was knackered. So I'm definitely starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I'm gonna do a day two because I'm in work tomorrow as well. So I'll see if I can get something different. And I also need to talk about the, the prices of what gets delivered and how much we get per package. Because it is not like a normal job. You do not get paid per hour. You get paid for what you deliver. And if you don't deliver it, you don't get paid. I guess I'll see you in about 18 hours.